Hi there, this is Shannon with Chic and Sassy Nails by Shannon. I am doing my next Manny. Oops, of course I bumped the camera. I do have a um, base coat of, oh my gosh, I'm blinking. <laughs> OPI's Nail Envy on that I put on first. Um, I kind of alternate between OPI and Color Streets uh, Nail Strengthener. I think they probably have different benefits. So I am just using the wipe on the um, base coat before I apply. So I decided, so I'm not a big plan ahead gal as far as I don't have a nail schedule. Um, I haven't played around with the subscription boxes in general very much. So I haven't even touched a few of them. Like seriously, look at all my subscription box sets that I still have that I haven't opened. So I have a lot of them that are still untouched. So I'm going to start playing around with those. And I got the idea when I was pulling these all out that I really liked these three sets together. So what I'm going to do, I have an idea in my head. So this is as far in advance as I plan as I open the sets up and I get an idea as I'm about to do it. So that's how I roll. I know some people are way more organized than that. Um, but not I. So my plan is to do two solid black on here and then do slants on these three. So let's figure out which strips I need. I didn't turn on my, um, hold on a second, on my flat iron. So let me grab that. I have a crazy amount of nail sets right now because I stocked up before the ruckus. So I know many of you watching were part of the ruckus. Um, if not, it's basically a huge um, hosted party that Stacy from Stacy Stacy's Sassy Styles right here on YouTube does for all her followers and friends and and everything. So, all right, let me just start. Like I said, I don't plan ahead enough, probably. <laughs> but we just finished this big ruckus. It was a two week, super fun party. But I feel like, I kind of feel like when you go on vacation and it's super fun and it's, you know, you have all this, um, all this excitement and things going on and then you get done and it kind of like kind of crashed that's kind of how I feel like this week like it's been it was awesome and super busy and super hectic but um and now I'm like okay I just need to kind of feel like I need to decompress a little bit after but it was so much fun so worth it and I start to realize as I so I just had my birthday I'm gonna switch thoughts here I just as my uh, just had my birthday and I feel like because of my birthday I don't know if it is or if it's like I've been listening to a lot of like um podcasts and books um <laughs> I keep calling it books on tape audio books I don't know if I'm Stacy called me 97 um because <clears throat> I called it books on tape <laughs> I don't know why that's in my head. My grandma used to listen to books on tape because she um, lived by herself but had macular de degeneration. So after a while, she couldn't see very much. She loved to read and she couldn't read anymore. Because if you don't know what that is, is um, your, the center of your eye sight goes first. So she had some perif peripheral, peripheral, I don't want to say that word, um, sight but the but the center and then it gets worse as it gets worse you lose more and more um, out, like vision out to the sides which is rough but anyway so we used to get her like literally books on tape so I think that's probably why I still call it that because up until like this last couple weeks no that's not true up until a few months ago I hadn't really been good about listening to audiobooks, so um, I'm new to that. But anyway, so I've been listening to audiobooks, and some have been, 
I listened to my first like fiction, which was very good, um, for Marcy's book club. And then I, um, have been listening to like podcasts and some like, like business or like personal development, business development type books and stuff like that. So anyway, I feel like I've been like super like introspective and like analyzing my life choices and <laughs> stuff. So, but there's a few things I realized, I think that I would share because it has, um, oh, also look at, I've been changing my shape of my nails lately. So this is how they're looking. I had a little mishap. What was it? Right before my last Manny. And I had to chop my nails. Yes, because I had my St. Patrick's Day Manny. And then I, I broke a nail. Because it was going in bet between my St. Patrick's Day Manny and my birthday Manny. I broke a nail. Opening the deck door for my dog. Like I was, I went to unlatch, which is like you push up on this like lever thing on the sliding door. And I did that and I like just did it wrong. Or I like didn't have it with my finger and it slid off and then my nail like cracked. Um, anyway, and it cracked low, so I needed to fix it. All right, I feel like I always end up doing the solids on my nail that's so hard to do solids on because it's super curvy. So I'm going to try to fix that. And this one might be too short to do. Huh. All right, did I put it too far down? Maybe my nails are a little bit longer than I'm used to because I might not have enough strip left. see here okay so anyway of course I got like a wrinkle right in that tip the end here I like twisted it when I was applying I like think I stretched it I don't know if I stretch it too much oh no I dropped my little garbage dang it sorry all these little extra pieces. Okay. So we have, I wanted to tell you a little bit about something I realized. I think it was, I shared it with my, um, some of my teammates because it was kind of like an enlightening moment for me. I think I was, I can't remember if it was my 40th or my 41st birthday. I can look because I know I have a picture of the year, but so many of you guys know that I, um, well, let my last Manny and story I told during my video was that I have an autoimmune disease that I was diagnosed with when I was 19. So, um, and the reason that's important is just because it has, when we had kids, and I decided to stay at home and be a stay at home mom. One of the factors has, um, since the kids going back to school or going, getting older and going to school where I don't necessarily need to be home full time is the autoimmune disease is a lot better. Oh, see, I got another wrinkle cause I did it. Oh, and this nail is too short. Darn it. I'm going to take that one off. Ah, shoot. Sorry. I'm going to take this one off and just use another strip because it doesn't quite cover the end. And I want to be able to, um, I want it to go all the way to the end. It comes off super quickly when it's <laughs> fresh on here. All right, my apologies. All right, I'm gonna get a, I, I knew that was too short. It looked too short and I did it anyway. Um, all right, hold on a second. I have a paper towel here. I need to clean my finger off. All right, we're just gonna go on top of the bare nail for this one. 
I should probably give it a second. Um, are these going to be big enough? Yeah, it'll be what it is. This is not my prettiest solid application, but that's okay. So, uh, anyway, so the autoimmune disease played a little bit of a little part in me not going back to work full time once the kids went full time back to, or went to school, like once my youngest was in kindergarten. Part of it is because breaks and all summer long, they were still too young to um, to stay home by themselves all summer. And I started an advertising out of, um, I went to art school. I went, started an advertising out of, well, eventually. It wasn't actually out of college. It wasn't my first. And I ended up, my last advertising jobs were at a photo um, we worked at, I worked at an ad agency, but in the photo studio part of it. And I was the photo studio manager. Um, and I f did some freelance work before that in the photo, like doing photo shoots and stuff um, as a producer. Anyway, sorry, that's sidetracked. But um, because of the hours that it, that are involved in advertising, the late hours generally I did not want to get back into that and I didn't make like a ton of money to make it because I had been on the industry you know I was only in the industry for oh, I gotta figure out how many years I don't know it was seven years um but you know I wasn't making like crazy amounts of money so anyway it ended up not being worth it to do um for me to go back full time so anyway fast forward that i was just had been so i've been a stay-at-home mom technically or been out of like the full-time out of the housework since 2007 16 years and then i started working for part-time as a photographer where I used to shoot, take pictures of babies in the hospital in 2000, what was it? 11. And then I switched to being, um, sorry, I'm thinking I didn't need that strip. I know why I did this. Okay. Sorry. Oh, I keep knocking it. Um, in 2011. So anyway, regardless, I've been doing part-time work from home since 2011. And then as, so what this has to do with my birthday. So my 40th birthday or my 41st? I can't remember exactly, but I ended up, I don't know what happened, but I was, I think I literally like picked up my own birthday cake that year. Because I don't, I'm not a huge, like, I don't need a huge celebration for my birthday. But, like, you know, I like a little bit basic stuff. But, and I know I've been with my husband for a really long time. And I know that's not his, like, strong suit. So, regardless, I was home and I ended up picking up my own birthday cake. So, I think now I make him, I tell him what I want or a rough estimate of what I want and I do make him do it now but anyway that year and as I was doing this trying and I, and I wasn't mad because I said I would do it and that was my own fault and whatever but so I came to the realization that in the past and even like when we do celebrate different things I always make sure I pick something that I have that my kids will eat. So like I have one very picky child. So I'm going to try to, okay. So these, I should explain a little bit. These are the new glitter dip, but they're reverse glitter dip. But for this look, I actually want it the traditional way. I think I'm trying to play around. I'm going to actually try, I'm going to, try this and see if I can get it to work because my idea in my head I'm not the best at reversing 
Oh, I think that's going to be fine. Okay, so then I'll just... Oh, it's not going to show up how I wanted. Because I want to do slants, but I want this blue to show. I should have cut it. Oh, I see. Okay. No, I think I'll get it to work. So, instead of being a normal glitter dip, where the glitter is in the middle of the strip, and then when you put it on at the base of the strip, then the glitter's at the tip, these are reverse glitter dips. So the glitter's on the ends, and when you put it on at the base, that's the glitter is usually is going to be at the base with these. So it is basically a reverse glitter dip, and I am making it unreversed by reversing it. Okay, so go back to the birthday cake. So usually in the past, I would always pick a dessert that I knew everybody would eat. So like everybody in our house likes Angel Fruit Cake or ice cream cake or stuff like that, which I do like. Like, don't get me wrong. I love desserts in general. <laughs> but I wouldn't call it my favorite. So I think that works, doesn't it? So there's a little line because this doesn't go, because I cut them in half, it doesn't quite go all the way down to cover my nail. So, but I think it being clear, I think it's okay. I don't think it's gonna bug me. Um, do I do it on this? All right. So I feel like, so this year on my birthday, whatever, like I said, it was either 2000, it was either my 40th or my 41st. I have very strong recollections of it because I discovered the, my, this cake that I really love. And it's the first, the start of my new favorite cake. So instead of buying, like when it came to my birthday, I was like, I don't even know what my favorite cake is because I know what my kids' favorite cakes are and I know what my husband likes and I always did stuff for them. And I always made sure. So, and the same with like restaurants and like picking places to eat that everybody's going to like and stuff like that. And that's the year that I started being like, so, okay, this is probably easier to do once your kids are a little bit older because they're not going to sit and have a temper tantrum about, you know, whatever. So, but now like my kids are older and they even, even if it was six years ago, they're not toddlers anymore. They weren't. So I decided to get my favorite birthday cake. And from now on, so for the last few years, like I said, I get lemon cake for my birthday because I love lemon cake. And I like all kinds of lemon cake. hy V makes this lemon souffle layered cake that is like probably my favorite. I don't always get it. It's not cheap either. But then we got nothing bunt cake this year, which again isn't cheap, but it's very good. So, um, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out. I need, I'm going to do regular. I need more of these. I love this. This is like my new favorite glitter dip. Man, it's gorgeous. This is called Ocean Abyss, and it's from the subscription box. Oh, which I think I said. I was using subscription box sets at the beginning. So, all right, I'm doing this one normal. Um, I'm going to get back to that other nail. I'm going to try to decide what I'm doing here because what I was going to do, I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. I think I'm going to finish that nail and see how it looks, and then the second accent nail might be different. Ooh, I love it. Okay. So that's my lemon cake story is I decided that enough is enough and that I am an important person in their lives and in my life and that I needed to have value and an opinion and all that stuff that I wasn't just a mom trying to be the, do the mom thing and please everybody and make everybody happy. Um, so that kind of like started this whole catalyst for all sorts of things in my life, which was really funny because literally 
it was over cake because I started, um, I feel like I started doing things for myself. So like when, um, my youngest started kindergarten, you know, I went to the gym for the first time and started working out and then I ended up really loving it and I started instructing there and I was there for over six years, took a break during COVID. Um, and then they recently closed Well, they closed this past winter and I haven't found a new thing yet, but I'm working on it. That's not true. In my brain, I'm working on it and I'm not actually doing anything yet, but I will. Okay. So let me see here. All right. So, um, like I said, I started working out. We started getting during COVID when we, when things were closed, when we started, I got sick of dinner or like cooking and thinking of what to make. We ended up getting lots of takeout, which, you know, I think a lot of people did. So we, plus we're supporting the, you know, helping restaurants stay, um, in business and all that stuff. But we definitely, I started getting like Chinese food's my favorite, but it's not my husband's favorite. It's not my youngest favorite. So we would literally have Chinese food. My oldest and I would have Chinese food and my youngest and my husband would have pizza. And that's kind of like, now it's like a new little fun family takeout day as we get, and it involves like my husband will go and stop at two places or we'll get delivery from one and pick up one or something. It's, but like doing that little stuff. And then Color Street fell into my lap and I took that chance and it has, you know, this is something that's mine. And my kids, when they were younger, like, you know, liked the strips and would try them stuff. And now they're not really, they're older, they're teens and it's not their thing, which is fine because it's my thing. But now I've kind of started paying my youngest help with some business stuff. So they do like that. So the money part, not the helping, <laughs> but they're teens. So, you know. This is too short, but I'm going to keep it because it's clear and I don't really want to use all my strips of this one. So you guys, this is really pretty. You know, my favorite part of this glitter dip is that there's big chunky glitters and there's the micro glitter like in the same, like I like it that they're both on here. I'm going to clean that up. So I also wanted to talk about the little community we've built. I've noticed that after, um, well, I noticed during the, in, in this ruckus and in my VIP group, the best part is all the friends and all the cool people we've gotten to meet all over the country, all over the world. We, there's people, I have people from other countries and Okay, granted not a lot but um that like this you know fairly inexpensive product can like build such a community like Stacy has a huge community on her with her YouTube channel and her group and thankfully you know I have been introduced to a ton of them and it's just been super cool to make connections and especially because I've been working from my house for years, years and years. So it's nice to have that. So hold on. It's nice to have that like outlet, I guess that social outlet. And I feel like my, um, I feel like we're all mo more than just customer and stylist, or I hope, I hope to think so. I hope to think so. Is that a sentence? I hope everybody feels that way. So, and that's the goal, I guess, is to build community. And cause I feel like even if the nail strips went away, it would be an awesome group, you know, group of ladies to stay in touch and to have a group with. Oh, dang it. I almost made a mistake. Hold on. I 
bet you you're wondering where this set was going to play into. And that is what I was going to do. I was going to cut them together so they had the same angle, and I totally forgot. So let's do this. Okay, so I don't even know what strip this is. I just cut it. So this one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I need the little gold. And I did it too... I'm going to lower it a little bit. Because it wasn't quite in half. We're going to use that... I wanted that same cut. So normally, if I... Where did that go? Normally, if I was doing it at the same time, you just do one cut. You just piggyback them. Oh, I didn't realize how sheer this was. This might not show through. Ugh, I dropped it. <laughs> All right. This might not show up. I'm going to go lower and just have a bit of... All right, hold on a second. I didn't realize how sheer this was ahead of time. I should have known. I didn't. Oh, no, I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to have a little of the... Well, no, I kind of like the blend of the... All right, never mind. I don't mind the sheerness of it. And then let's do this. Okay. So anyway, like I said, I've just been babbling on and had to tell my cake story because lemon cake is the bomb. And we had lemon bunt cake, that nothing bunt cake place. We had lemon bunt cake for my birthday and three of the four of us eat it. I may have had the most of it. It was so good, though. All right. Ooh, and this weekend, we bought my daughter, or we're buying my daughter. We found a car to buy my newly 16-year-old because there was some money earmarked for a car. That we okay, so I'm liking it. I don't know if you guys can see the subtle... So now I'm trying to decide. This is what I, this was my plan is to do these two like this and then do the rest of these like this with just a little glitter. I wish you guys were, but then I was wondering there wasn't a lot of glitter if I should flip it and have it lots of glitter. I think I'm going to keep it like this. I like it because I like that it's subtle and I like, this is a lot of glitter so I probably don't need. Okay, so. I just made it. Oh, I should do this other nail with these. Sorry. I feel like I have a mess here. I'm very, uh, there. Okay. So let's do these the, this way, because this is how I, what fingers did I do here? How far did I come down? Uh, a little, a little above half? I don't know. You know, it doesn't really make a difference because... I don't take pictures of both sides at the same time. Anyway, actually, I never take pictures of my right hand. Do you guys have a, a nail fee hand like I do? So I don't take pictures of my right hand because I have this curvy pinky and it doesn't, um, oh, which is a funny story I have to tell you about, which doesn't, um, I don't like it. It just... It's like my deformed pinky. I don't like what it looks like in nail fees, so I don't... Plus, it's my right hand, so it's way easier to take pictures of this hand that I can use my right hand, because I'm right-handed. So, so it's kind of twofold, is I don't like that pinky, and it's way easier to take nail fees with using my right hand instead of taking pictures of my right hand, which I'm sure I've done. I just try to hide my pinky. Okay. So speaking of my weird pinky, I went to ye yesterday to get, um, <laughs> I totally skipped over this car story. It's not a big deal. 
we're looking for a cheap used car, which is really hard to find right now. So that's like, it's old. We got her a 2000, or we're getting a 2012. I haven't, I have to go pay for it today. So um, anyway, old car, which I feel like that's what high schoolers should have if they're going to get a car at all. And one of the main reasons is I really don't want her to always have to drive my car because my car is a brand new lease <laughs> that only has like under a thousand miles on it. So, okay. So that being said, my pinky story. Yesterday I went and got TSA pre-check. So if you guys don't know what that is, you can sign up for, I don't know if it's a third party like vendor. It's like a security thing at the airport where you don't have to sit through all the line. Um, I did it because my husband got it for a work trip because his boss has it, which makes it easier than to fly. Um, it's, he used it with her before and he liked it. So he got it and I'm just like, so we decided to get it for me because I have like three flights coming up. I don't know how the best way to apply this. We're going to do this. So I have three trips coming up, four actually this summer. Five if I include, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, five for the whole year coming this next, this next year is coming up. So, okay. So I'm like, that'll just be easier. And like three of those, two of those trips I'm flying by myself. So I just thought it would be easier. So anyway, I went to this, like, I went and like registered online and I went to this really sketchy strip mall. <laughs> in like a suburb of Minneapolis and it was like a comp it was like the it was at like a medical facility like a walk-in doctor's office type place which kind of threw me off because I'm like didn't know if I was in the right place and then the um but there was like a sign for this company that I went through and like they had all my info that I applied online and it had the little TSA check you know, signs and all the things. So hopefully it was legit or somebody is really good at stealing identities. Like of people volunteering to do that. So anyway, hopefully I'll get the TSA pre-check. But part of that, when my pinky reminded me of that, is because part of it you have to get fingerprinted. So they had this device that did everything. It was like this giant iPad type thing. So it was a monitor that like was, that was like down I don't I think this is crooked hold on I was trying to straighten this out yeah all right good enough oh yeah it's gonna be covered by the tips anyway never mind um is this giant iPad thing that had in like a I don't know it was in like a case like a protective casing so it she like punched in some numbers and all my info come up came up so I had to like go through and verify all my info on the screen of what I had filled out ahead of time and then like that same machine, she like picked it up and like took my picture for the TSA thing. And then she like flipped it around and it had like digital fingerprints like place. So you had to push your hand. So you had to go like, so at first I had to do my thumbs and then I had to do my fingers, but it was like, it was like a little, like a trackpad on an old laptop and you'd have to push this little bar and then hold your fingers down. Well, my pinky, like, was too short. It couldn't get over, like, the frame of the device thing. So she had to hold the bar down for me. And then it's, like, barely my little pinky's, like, hardly, because it doesn't, it also doesn't, see how it curves so much? It doesn't lay flat like normal fingerprints. So there's, like, hardly any fingerprint on my pinky, so. But, yeah, so that's my pinky story. I told my husband this morning, I said, like, I don't know how... I like gave them all my information so they have like totally can steal my identity if it wasn't legit but I mean I know it was legit but it was just very odd didn't have like a permanent sign it had like one of those tent stand-up plastic tent signs <laughs> it was like like I said yeah not my husband did his at the airport so totally like seems more legit you know but I didn't want to go to the airport because I wasn't flying, to, you know. And I'm hoping to get my number before um, we fly next week, but I don't know if I will. Anyway, 
All right, let's do the tips and then we will wrap this up. I think these are the same size. All right. I need to, what time is it? Oh, I have a meeting in a little bit. I better wrap this up. Okay, this is what I meant to do last time, is cutting them at the same time. Okay. Let's do the gold first. I'm like super happy about how these turned out, you guys. Who needs a plan? I mean, I had a plan, like I had an idea. It was just two minutes before I came on, you know? So I often, like many of you, will go and get inspiration from nail fees and um, the different nail fee groups, videos, stylist groups, all the things. I have not seen this. I did not get this from anything, so I'm kind of happy about that. I'm happy it turned out. I actually like the, the sheerness of the gold set, that it's showing the teal through it a little bit. I don't know if you can even see that in the little stripe. Um, this has kind of been my new like look. So I tend to, I've been starting to do this a lot. I go in like waves. I'm sure you recognize that, but um, like I had the, an overlay kick for a while where I was doing like, I usually did, um, Pla what's that one? Plat about you or, well, let me lift this back up. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it. I didn't line it up all the way, but that's okay. You got to kind of decide what's easier. I don't want to rip the strip or not. It just, it's okay if it's not perfect. All right. Um, I used to do plat about you in between the lines, like all the time. So now lately I've been doing lots of slant, lots of this accent nail with the slant, um, where I do two, just like two with the slant and then the other one's something different. So I just go in little spurts, I guess. I'm assuming that's a common thing, but I don't really know. All right. So I'm wrapping up. This became longer than I thought it was going to. So next week, oh wait, hold on a second. Let me finish this. I am trying to wrap up all my, all my, um, I have to mail people. I have a bunch of people sets from the ruckus and I'm trying to get those mailed out before next week. So that's my goal. We have spring break next week. So I am hoping to get that all taken care of. So that is my goal, which was tough because today, like right now I have time. I should be working on that. And I really wanted to do my nails because I hadn't done those in quite a, in a few days. So I'm getting more antsy about wanting to change my nails more often, which is good. I need to be doing that more. It's just a matter of taking the time to do it because I also have that where I feel like I have so much stuff to do all the time that I, can, I feel like I'm never caught up with anything for my for Color Street. There's always something to do type of a thing. So, um, but this is for Color Street. So it's part of the business, you know, doing new manis and making new videos, but like, I feel like I should, I don't know. I need to get like in a set schedule. So then it's just, I definitely need like to work on my time management skills. So, but, oh my gosh, it was so worth it. You guys, it's so worth that you guys are going to get your nail, nail sets a day later, probably more than a day later. But anyway, all right, let's do my thumbs. These are going to be tricky because do I make it short? 
Yeah, because you know what? I think when I add the... When I add my top coat, is it going to balance that out? That it's not going to matter if it's too short? Or do I want to use... I don't want to use my both strips. I am just going to go for it. My thumbs don't, like, show up a ton. I may, reg I may regret this, but that's okay. It is what it is at this point. All right. Because it's too short to do this. Maybe I will do, which way do I want to make it too short? I want to do this. Oops, it's like crooked. So my hope is when I put my top coat, I'll use the gel, um, the plumping top coat, and hopefully that'll smooth and kind of hide that line, is my thought. The line at the base where the glitter dip didn't go all the way to the base of my nail. I don't like when I overlap and there's a ridge, so... Um, did I not cut that all the way? I think I did. It's just sticky. Oh yeah, it's sticky. Oh, it's sticking to my finger too. Alright. Let's finish this off with these other glitter dip in reverse. The reverse glitter dip in reverse. Making it a regular glitter dip. If that's not weird. Oh yeah, see this one is better because it fits. I just don't cut evenly, which is good. This one went all the way. This is my nail fee hand. See, I did it right this time. I did my right hand first and saved my left and I picked the right strip. Alright. I'm leaving all these strips out way too long. It's a life. For some reason, I didn't foresee this taking as long as it has. I'm having trouble getting cutting this. And then it sticks to my skin. Let's see if I can get it off with this. Oh my goodness, so sticky. Ugh. Well, I can't get it off the tweezers. This is super sticky. And I think I just stabbed myself. Oh yeah, I might bleed. That's fun. Be careful. I guess I wouldn't use the super pointy tweezers after all. I should grab my other one. This tweezer set came with two. The regular tweezers and then this tweezers of death. The stabby one. Alright. Don't accidentally stab yourself. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to tell you something. So, I just had my birthday. And, which I've said like eight times. But that's okay. I do love my birthday. Um, but... I have wanted a tattoo for a long time. Probably since my 40th birthday, I started planning and figuring out what I wanted to do and all the things. And I've been kind of like, not had the money. And not that I have, I don't really have the money now, but I'm like, I don't spend a ton of money on myself. So I am going to be treating myself and I'm going to get a tattoo. So. I found a person, so I know what I want, and I know, and I found a person that I really fell in love with, um, not the person, like his art, his work, and it, because I originally was going to try to get a female tattoo artist, and there's a few, a couple shops that are like all female, but so many are not taking new clients, and um, I figure I need to find something that, an artist that I love because this is something I'm obviously going to have forever. So anyway, I went, I didn't go, but he looks like he used to work out of a shop and now he's like on his own and has a, like a tattoo shop in Minneapolis. And, um, 
he had a like link to fill out a form for like appointments and stuff because he said he was taking appointments but like way far out so I finally he finally replied back and I have a consultation but it's not until July and he's booking in the fall already for actual appointments but I asked he, I asked if I could book an appointment for the fall before my actual consultation and he hasn't replied so I'm taking that as probably a no because it sounds like he has um so I don't know so it, it's probably going to be sometime next year before I actually get this tattoo so I'm like maybe it'll be for my next birthday so we will see um about the tattoo and my idea is that well I want it on my and I want to talk to the tattoo artist because I'll definitely take recommendations. It's my first tattoo and my idea is kind of big and it's kind of my plan is like one and done, but we'll see. Um, I'm hoping I can handle the pain. I figure if I'm paying that much money and I've waited six, seven years to get it, I'll be able to do it. So, but I'm tr I really want it on my shoulder like the top of my arm part of my shoulder but I wanted it to start like in the front or in the back and kind of wrap around to the side of my top of my arm does that if that makes sense and I kind of have a design I like have a bunch of reference photos of the style and the subject matter I want because I want a floral design and I'm doing black and white with maybe just a titch of accent color but mainly black and white but I haven't decided that again I'm gonna ask the tattoo artist for suggestions or you know kind of leave part of that up to them and then um, the so I have flowers and I have different flowers to represent different people or things in my life and then I have um, I want to do two fish um, but two different fish. I want a koi fish and I want a beta fish. Like the Japanese style um, kind of tattoos I've seen. And then kind of all intertwined. So like the fish and the flowers. We'll go over all the meaning at some point. We'll have to see if I actually get the tattoo. So that's my plan. I, I don't have a consultation, consultation till July. And then, who knows, by then, if he'll be booking into the next year, I'm sure. Unless he gets back to me. But shockingly, the tattoo, the busy tattoo artist is not, does not, is not the quickest on email. But his, his work's really good. So, and I'm super picky because, you know, it's a tattoo. And I went to art school, so I want it to be good. And I had a very specific style in mind. So, all right, we are going to be done with this. And I need to, I'm doing laundry today. Oops, I kind of, so I got to go switch out laundry, fold clothes, all before my meeting in 25 minutes. So we will see. <sighs> So the problem about doing nails during the day. So I like to do my videos during the day because I like the natural light. And it's quiet at my house because nobody's home. But, and then I work in the evening. So by the time I'm done working, a lot of times I get too tired and I don't want to do my nails at night. But then I tend to, tend to mess them up. So my goal is what I do now is I have to take nail fees right away. So I don't mess them up. So I was going to add cute little decals but I really just like these as they are even though see the colors all match maybe I should do a little all right I'm gonna take pictures without with and without because I like them like this but the decals are cute and I was thinking I could put little curvy ones down at the bottom here that would be cute too so all right I'm gonna take photos with and without this is I didn't even go over the names of all the sets Midnight Manhattan Glitz and Glamour, I believe, was the December box. 
Um, this was the Midnight in Manhattan from the December box, everybody's favorite. Uh, and Ocean Abyss. I also like that I turned on my, my what's it called? My uh, flat iron a long time ago when I forgot to seal. I didn't seal these because I was still working on them. All right, you guys, I'm super in love. I'm going to go take some nail fees without the gems, and then I'll add the gems and take some with the gems so then we can see what we like best. I think the gems will add a cute little aspect. So I'll see. All right, you guys have a wonderful day or night whenever you are watching. Take care. Bye-bye.